So, what do you both do for a living? Journalist. Graphic artist. Oh, lovely. You working? What? Working. Earning money, cash. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. yes we <laughs> Yeah, we're very... Busy. For all your comic needs, fantasy bazaar... Oh, yeah, yeah, we're very, very busy. Yeah. <laughs> you! <laughs> it's yeah. Honestly, I'm like... We're so busy! <laughs> we I don't can't. sleep. Um, I don't, we don't stop. <laughs> no, that's an exaggeration, but we, very, oh, we are very busy. Yeah, we don't very know what busy. to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, uh, how long have you been together? Five, Five years, years, eight, eight months, months, three days. Three days. <laughs> <laughs> well... You can move in when you're ready. Really? Yep. Don't you want to see our photos? <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> <laughs> Come out. We're going out to a club later on. Do you want to come? Don't go to clubs. Oh, come on, Brian. What do you mean you don't go to clubs? I'm working, Tim. Working. Do you understand? No, sorry. Got me there. Trying to avoid cliches by not actually placing my brush on the canvas. Wow, right. Using my penis. Finally. Do you want to see? No, I'm just about to have my tea. Look, why don't you come out? I think it'd be good for you. No, it won't. Twist will be there. Will she? Cut. Huge. Hello? Oh. Hi, Mike. Yeah, it's here. I'll just get him. It's your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Hi, babe. Hello, oh, Timmy. Where are you? Ah, uh, Sheffield. You're doing a Sheffield? I fell asleep on the tube. The tube doesn't go to Sheffield, Mike. Yeah, I know. I uh, must have changed the King's Cross. Right, well, don't fall asleep on the way back, OK? Mike. Mike! Little Ewoks. An entire empire brought to its knees by small, furry creatures. That's my point exactly. Leave him alone. Brian, did you notice that everything that transpired in those three films, and I mean everything, can be attributed to the actions of one very minor character? Who? The gunner on the Star Destroyer at the beginning of the first film. How come? Well, mm -hmm, because if the gunner had shot the pod that C-3PO and R2 were in, they wouldn't have got to Tatooine, they wouldn't have met Luke, Luke wouldn't have met Ben, they wouldn't have met Han and Chewie, they wouldn't have rescued Princess Leia. None of it would have happened. Chaos theory. Eh? The predictability of random events. You know, the notion that reality as we know it, past, present, future, is in fact a mathematically predictable preordained system. So somewhere out there in the vastness of the unknown is it equation for like predicting the future an equation so complex as to utterly defy any possibility of comprehension by even the most brilliant human mind it's an equation nonetheless oh my god what i've got some fucking jaffa cakes in my coat pocket Let's all play Quebec. Is there any post? Uh, I did hear droppage. Oh, I'm gonna go and get my rejection letters then. Oh! oh I met this really, really nice girl last night. Shh! Oh, I'm supposed to be your girlfriend. Not oh, Shemite. Don't be daft. You never know who's listening. Nobody's listening. You never know who's listening. Nobody's listening. <sighs> so who was this girl then? Uh, her name was Cassandra. She was a psychic. She gave me her phone number. Mm. 
That's our phone number. Man, she's good. Did you want a cup of tea, Taz? I couldn't eat a thing. My stomach's like a walnut. Don't you even have tea? No, no, no salad. Something orange? Uh, water. Water, OK. Nice invitation. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi, Velva. Velva? Hi, how are you? How? How are you? How are you? How are you? Brian, painter. Damien. Damien. Damien Hurst. Hi, it's Brian. Um, Velva, I'm talking to Damien. Is it water with the sheep in the in the box? No, I, I, I paint. Lots of work with paint. I do big, big, big. Loser. Yeah. Yeah, big loser. Brian, painter, loser. Big fucking loser. <sighs> I just think we should draw up some kind of a rotor, right? All right. We need to establish domestic equilibrium. OK. We need to get used to each other. We don't know each other that well, do we? <laughs> <laughs> No. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> no, whoa there, Pickle. You know, you... Every morning I wake up and it's the same. I get out and I buy the paper and I slack in the morning and I phone them. Only to discover they've been taken by a bunch of fucking psychic house hunters. Well, you know, you've only looked at a few. <laughs> and they've all been gold infested rat holes. I'm in the same boat, you know. I mean, you don't see me crying. Yeah. <laughs> hey. 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 Borrow a tea bag. Only if you bring it back. You can have a tea bag, Brian. You can't borrow one. What are you playing? Tomb Raider Three. <laughs> She's drowning. Is that the point of the game? Depends what mood you're in, really. What sort of mood you're in, then? Well, I got a letter from my ex-girlfriend this morning, three months too late, explaining why she dumped me. It was full of you'll always be special and I'll always love you platitudes designed to make me feel better while simultaneously appeasing her deep-seated sense of guilt for running off with a slimy little city boy called Dwayne and destroying my faith in everything which is good and pure. So it didn't really work, then? No, it made me want to drown things. You've got some paint on you. It's a literal tribute to the self-reflexivity of Rembrandt. Did he like it? It's dead. Bloody hell, that really backfired. I didn't expect to see you here. You never struck me as the outdoor type. What? Oh, listen, that reminds me. You left some stuff in the flat. Well, I think it's your stuff. The bag was full of comics and toys. I was thinking maybe I'd drop it round in the car, save you the trip. You stole my girlfriend. Tim, now come on. I didn't want it to be like this. It wasn't meant to be personal. You don't choose who you fall in love with. When you get that feeling, it's like... Sexuality. It's like a force beyond your control. You know what they say about love and war? Yeah, one involves a lot of physical and psychological pain, and the other one's war. I can't get my head around this uh, platonic intergender relationship malarkey. It just doesn't seem right to me. Don't get me wrong, like, I don't mind having a chin wag with a honey, but I just like to do it after waggling on her chin, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You like to waggle your willy on her chin? Don't come your post-feminist art school bollocks with me, Sunflower. That's your real friggin' name. All right, I work for a living. What do you do? I write, actually. Oh, do you? In other words, you're on the dole. So anyway, are you two uh, friends coming out with me tonight or what? No, no money. money. I'll lend you the money. I already owe you 20 quid. Do you? No. Oh, look, there's Madonna. Where? So we'll see you later then, yeah? 
Oh, cool, right. OK, I'm going to offer a shower and a shit and a shave, and I'll be back for you about 11 o'clock. All right, pack your party bags, people, because tonight's going to be a large one. All right? Very lucky. Oi, oi! <laughs> what was all that about Madonna? Uh, Tyson's got a really, really short attention span. I remember once we... Oh, look, wrestling. 